Hi everyone. In this video, we will discuss about this pro this uh, question from uh, C programming. So the question is, uh, what is a storage class or a variable a in the blue code? So before starting, let me show you how to find these questions. So you need to log into uh, cvbus.com and from there you could you can go to C programming tab and from there click on CMCQ and if you are on this page then if you scroll down second question we, need, we are talking about the second question today so let me minimize this and log into my log into my uh, Linux machine I am connected via I have created virtual machine for my uh, for my Linux and I am connected via I'm doing SSH to my machine using Move Extra. So what I will do, we will, you know, we'll try to create a small program on um, external classes, and we'll see how how it works. So I'll use VI Editor to write the program, and let me create a directory for that. I'll just call it the storage class. I'll go inside this directory. And here I don't I, I don't have anything now. I will create a, a C C file and we'll name it a storage class. You can give it any name. Let's see. And I'll go to I will press I. I'll go into insert mode and I will start writing a program here. So I will write the same program which is given on, on the website. Since integer is a return time, we have to return something. I have written in zero here, and I will declare a variable a, and uh, I will initialize that with ten, and I will just try to print it. Now, if I want to compile it, I just need to uh, press escape, then shift colon right wq is for right q, right come out. And I will use here GCC compiler to compile it. And if I want to specify the output binary name, then I have to specify hyphen O and I will call it storage.out. You can give any name here as well. So if you see here, if I do list directory, I will see the output file. If I want to run it, I will do sl dot slash uh, storage class. I will see the output this time. However, it is coming on the same line. You will just quickly modify. So to avoid that, you can just put either we can put slash in here after printing it, or to avoid the confusion, we can add one more uh, printf function and put slash in here. So what happens? This variable a this is so remember there are i will put down here so there are four types of storage classes we have we have uh, auto extra register and static so in today's video we'll just talk about this auto storage class so what happens the, so using storage classes uh, basically we 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 determine four things we determine following things first what we determine is i'll just use this one Four things we determine. First thing we determine is the initial value. Second thing is we define de determine the memory location. Third thing is life lifetime of that variable and scope. And scope. So I will just talk, talk up, we will just talk about um, auto auto storage class in this video so when we declare a variable without specifying any storage class which is here like here i am declaring a variable a but i haven't specified any storage class so by default this is treated as auto storage class and uh, either when you don't 
put it before the variable by default you know compiler will add it for you but if you want you can explicitly specify so what happens when the variable variable type variable belongs to auto storage class its default value will be garbage value when i say default value if, if i if i if i'm not initializing it with any any value it's if and if i'm trying to print it it will print some garbage value its default default value will be garbage value that is one thing and uh, second thing about the memory location so remember all local variables with auto storage classes are 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 in stack memory location and uh, second thing is lifetime so remember the lifetime of variable a depends upon this braces actually so since we have declared variable a inside this braces as soon as we come out of this these braces or i should say as soon as i come out of this program the variable a will be deleted from the memory and after that you will not be able to access it so we will talk more about that but let me first run this program without initializing a with any value and i'm just i'm not initializing anything and i'm just trying to print a let me see, let's see what happens i'll just come out by pressing shift colon wq and we'll try to compile this program one more time it has compiled successfully i'll clear the screen uh, and i'll just check the output so we have the file created storage classes dot out now i will run it so you see some difference you see here the 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 value which is assigned here is it is zero now we'll check why it is zero it should be some garbage value so you cannot predict it can be any value it can be zero it can be some other value as well and if i do not specify auto let's see what happens compile it and run it again see you that's okay now i will discuss about the lifetime uh, yeah i'll come back to the lifetime topic so if what happens in c programming we can also write this as if i want to change the scope of this then i can declare this variable inside this braces it means it means this a variable will be accessible only inside this scope we have defined the scope of this this variable a we cannot so two things here first thing if you want to access this variable a i can access only inside this scope and as soon as i go outside this scope this braces a will be deleted from the memory so let's see what happens let me try to compile this again you see here a undeclared we are getting this error because a belongs to a different scope which is this one and a we cannot access out of, out of, outside of this scope so, so if i want to access it what i can do is i can move this print up statement inside the scope so now a belongs to the same scope and we are trying to access it in the same scope so this will work without any error and compiling it i have to clear the screen compile one more time and run okay so this time you, we should not see the error so you see we don't see the error any error and uh, if i go back and initialize it, it with any value i should see the value compile it and run it again stem i'll go back to the program so i'm repeating auto variable we cannot access outside of the scope 
if we are if we are removing this uh, braces then you know uh, as soon as we come out of this scope the previous scope which is which is there for main function as soon as we come out of the main function the table will be deleted and we cannot access it out after that and its default value is garbage value and the second option is to understand it uh, like a different way we are uh, you know creating a small scope by you know creating this uh, putting this block of code inside separate uh, block or separate block of curly braces or braces we cannot access that variable outside of these braces so that is one more thing so yeah that's that's all i have in this video uh, you we will be discussing about uh, like external register and static storage classes in, in future videos thanks for watching